Ellis and Shannon Wright. City Council President, Democratic nominee, and Baltimore native Brandon Scott says he wants a new way forward for Charm City with a focus on schools, jobs, and investment in black and brown neighborhoods. I'm asking the voters to believe in someone who's believed in Baltimore, not someone who left Baltimore, not people who haven't been here, people that have been in the fight so that Baltimore can be its best self. Independent candidate and entrepreneur Bob Wallace says Baltimore needs a new face and voice because people who've been in office have let this city down. He's campaigning on heavy economic development and restoring the 17,000 vacant properties in the city, creating jobs. About two-thirds of the city who have just not had the economic opportunity that they need. And so if we, if we fix the economic opportunity in our city via my Nehemiah plan, I believe that will address the crime and the violence and the hopelessness that we see in our city. Shannon Wright, the Republican candidate running for mayor, wants to seriously invest in and reorganize the public school system, make the streets safe, and create jobs. Leadership that comes out of this election and in my administration will need to focus on the people of this city and prioritizing residents first, last, and always. We will need to be able to take the pieces that are already in the box and put them together in order. We will do these things together. You will have a voice at the table and a seat in City Hall. Current Mayor Jack Young, who took office following the scandal involving Catherine Pugh, was voted out in the primary, losing the Democratic nomination to Brandon Scott. And be sure to watch WJZ on Tuesday. We'll have special election night coverage with Nora O'Donnell, Gail King, and John Dickerson, as well as local updates starting at 7 p.m.